today I'm going to discuss about another topic of trial balance. So about provision for backups. So we all know provision. If there is any provision in trial balance for the preparation of trial balance, we will take provision as credit balance. But we don't really know why we will take provision for depreciation or provision for bad debts or provision for discount on debt loss as credit balance. So why do we take it as credit balance? The reason why we are showing provision for bad debts or any other provision for that matter in credit balance as credit balance is because that while we are preparing final accounts in the previous year, now let's say, let's, let us take an example here. See, this is year 2020. Now, in the year 2020, let's say we and we made a sales of 20,000, which is credit sales. Credit sales. So that means there will be debtors, right? So debtors will be equal to 20,000. Assuming that there are expenses that amounts to 10,000 rupees. Expenses that amounts to 10,000 rupees. So then what is our profit? What is our profit? 20,000 sales minus expense. That is 10,000 is our profit. So if you prepare profit and loss account, our profit will be 10,000. But in here, if you see, there are debtors, which are credit sales. Means, we haven't received the amount. We haven't received the amount. So, he, he might, the debtors might pay us in the next year. Or, he may not pay the amount. So there, obviously, there will be some debtors who will not pay the payment. So those are termed as bad debts. But in 2020, we are not sure the debtors will pay us or not. But we know the trend. For the past few years, if we have a debtors of 20,000, so there is a trend, there is a trend that 5% of debtors will be terming it as bad debts in the coming years. Now, now in here, if we take bad debts 5%, so that amounts to 1,000 rupees. If he is not paying in the 2021, we will take bad debts in that year. But it is related to 2020. That means we are recording a wrong profit of 10,000. Now this is a mistake. We do not know how to rectify it. Because in the year 2020, we do not know the exact bad debts. So what we do is, in order to 1,000, in order to include this thousand rupees of loss in this current year itself 2020 we will set aside the profit we will set aside the profit especially for these bad apps based on our estimates previous year estimates let's say five percent now what so when we prepare profit and loss account we will have a gross profit twenty thousand assuming this only 20,000 income and expenses direct expenses 10,000 that means our profit is 20,000 minus 10,000 our profit is 10,000 ah. now what should we do we should set aside this profit to the extent 5% on the tax so that will be written as to provision for that That is thousand. Now the profit will be nine thousand. Problem solved. Now, if you write this entry, profit and loss account the dot. To provision for bad debts. Thousand, thousand. This profit and loss account will be closed. 
any profit or any loss in profit and loss account will be transferred to capital loss account. But this provision for bad debts will stay. Now what will we do with this provision for bad debts? We need to open an account for provision for bad debts. And, and we need to post, post this entry. So if you post this entry in provision for bad debts, you will post it here. Right? Profit and loss account. 1000 rupees. Now we will close it. 1000. 1000. True balance e by D. Again here, high balance drawn from. 1000. Which is our credit balance for the next year. In 2020, you will write this entry profit and loss account after provision for bad debt. And this profit or loss will be added to, will be transferred to capital account. But this provision for bad debts account will stay. And in this provision for bad debts account, when we post this entry, it will come to buy profit and loss account. 1000. Now you close that particular account and it will have a credit balance which will be brought down to next year. So in the next year, if you prepare the trial balance, so this provision for bad debts will be in the, in the provision for bad debts, there will be balance, which is credit balance. That is why. Every provision in a bad balance will turn as credit balance because it is old provision already created. So that is the concept of provision for bad debts. And we will discuss in length about uh, what is the treatment in final accounts because uh, what is the treatment if there is provision for bad debts and the bad debts as well. So what is the treatment we will discuss in clearly in final accounts chapter. Thank you.